Well, hello friends. Uh, today it's a bit too warm for webcam, but uh, we are going to work on keyboard focus in the web browser. So basically, uh, what I would like to do is um, be able to tab my way through all of these links here. And currently we don't have anything like that in the browser. And um, tab is something that happens in the GUI library level. So you see we can tab between these different um, bookmarks here in the bookmarks bar. But uh, once we focus the uh, web view, then um, there's no internal um, focus order or tab order or anything like that. So um, I'm thinking that's what we'll do today. So um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to have uh, the um, each frame keep track of a focused DOM element, and then we will um, allow you to cycle through focusable DOM elements. And then I'm not exactly sure how we'll define focusable, but I'm thinking maybe we'll start by just having like link elements be focusable, and uh, then I'm sure that there's some some other things that could be focusable as well, like you know, input elements, checkboxes, stuff like that. But we'll be starting with just links, just to, to fill out how we're going to do this. So, let's see, start with the web frame. So, each web frame has an event handler, which gets the key down events. And I guess here we can look at the key. So if key is um, key code, key tab, then we want to, um, actually let's look at the modifiers because we might want to go backwards as well. So key tab, so if modifiers and, um, mod shift, um, then we will um, focus previous element, else focus next element. So I'm not exactly sure how we're going to get this thing to seamlessly play nice with, um, with the GUI library. We'll have to figure that out as we go, I guess. Uh, ideally, uh, you would have something like where you can you, once you tab into the um, web view, then you would just immediately focus like the first focusable thing, and then you would cycle through it. And then once you reach the last focusable thing uh, and tab again, it would like go to the next eligible GUI widget instead. Um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how we figure this out. So let's see. Maybe we'll call frame. Um, maybe we can keep those here for now. Okay, so event handler focus next element. So maybe these should return. Um, I'm thinking like to communicate to the GUI library whether we focused something or not, we could uh, just have them return a Boolean. So if we uh, focus next element and we go off the end of the list of focusable things then we could say oh i didn't focus anything and this would um this way we could know that it's time to let go of focus and allow the gui library to focus somebody else i don't know we'll see okay so let's uh, declare these focus the next element and focus previous element. Okay, and those were supposed to return bool. So, um, I guess the frame needs to keep track of the currently focused element, so we can keep that in the frame object. I'm thinking a weak pointer, because if you remove the focus element from the DOM, then we don't need to be holding on to that. 
has no value to us at that point. So we we'll just do it this way and focused element. Actually, should this be a frame concept or a document concept? Maybe it just should be in a document, now that I think about it. Um, every document has a single focused element. That makes sense. We'll do it that way. Focused element. Let's put that out of line because maybe we want to do some some fancy schmancy stuff. One thing is that we might want to do some like um, we're probably going to want to tell the element when it gains or loses focus, for example. So let's see, element. Maybe it would be nice if you could ask an element if it has focus or like is focused. So is focused. Make this a little bit nicer, so pool element is focused. Return document focused element is this. Indeed. Okay. And then in document set focused element if element. Well, actually, let's do a no op check first. So that's a return scenario. Okay, and then if we have a focus element, uh, we'll say like we'll lose focus. Mm. And maybe if element did gain focus. Something like that. And of course, if element, then we make a weak pointer to it, else we just clear out the thing. Okay. And, mm, you know, let's not add these kind of things until the day that we actually need them, because I don't know what I would use them for right now anyway. So let's see. Um, hum, hum, hum. Okay, so this feels like a good start. Then maybe we could render these a little bit differently. So in layout box, we could do a little, we could do like a little colorization, color border around the focused element. Um, might be nice. So, would that be part of, um, let's add a, should we add a new paint face for that? I guess we can do that, like, focus. Yeah, focus, focus outline. So, let's see, just put that in the right place, so. So painting, uh, painting the um, layout tree in the web engine is phasic now, is, uh, has four phases. Now we're adding a fifth phase. Um, that's just how CSS is specified, that you have to start with the background, and then you paint the borders, and then the foreground stuff, and then uh, the overlay is, is our own overlays in the browser, and I'm going to put the focus outline here. And it might be part of the spec, actually, how you're supposed to paint the focus stuff, but I'm just going to roll with this for now, and then we can always tweak it later. So now we'll get a paint phase here. So if phase is uh, paint phase focus outline, and the doc and the DB node uh, is, if it's an element, Actually, we should check that we have a node. And it's an element and um, downcast element node. Um, 
Wait, why can't I see that here? Undeclared identifier element. Oh, because it's the DOM, right? The DOM element is focused. Then we will draw a rect around this thing. So, um, I guess, let's see, do we want to draw this around the, um, which of our rectangles do we want to do this around? Well, let's just draw it around the content rect for now. So, um, in closing, int rect of the absolute rect of this layout box. And we will draw it with a beautiful heblu. Um, wait, does our palette have some focus? Yes, focus outline. Okay, that's what we should be using. So, context, palette, focus outline. What was I even thinking? Of course we should ask the system palette what color to use. So that's cool, but we still can't actually focus anything. So um, in the event handler, when we do focus next element, what we'll do is um, if, let's see, maybe these could be sharing code actually, but we'll start like this. So if mframe document, Focused element, um, then um, wait, how do we do this? Um, element is this, and if there's no element, then we'll just say frame document um, first. Mm. Hmm. I guess we just want to iterate through the entire tree. So, um, if element is null, if there is no element focused, then element is just going to have to be frame document first child of type element. DOM element. Okay, and of course here if we don't have a document loaded in our frame, then we're not gonna focus anything. So let's see. Um, I guess we can here we can just fail this for now. Okay, so we'll start either start at the previously focused element or start at the first element in the DOM. And then um, I guess what we missed was adding some kind of, we added as is focused, but we didn't add is focusable. Um, so that would be something like this maybe. And we will just say false in the default. And then we can say that anchor elements can have focus. That would be one way of doing that. Uh, wait, hold on. We have like is link, right? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So if wait, how do we define this? So if it's an anchor element and the node has an href attribute. All right. So we can. That's. I guess that's the definition of a link, really. So we'll say that it's focusable if our href is not null. Has attribute. Yeah. OK, um, there might be some subtleties to this, but we'll start like that. Now what we want to do is, um, I guess here, if element and element is focusable, then really that should become the new element. So frame document set 
focused element element and return true. This I'm not writing this in the best way. We'll we'll improve it later. Um, so now we want to iterate. So while we have an element and the element um, is not focusable, then we will keep iterating. Next in pre-order, can we do that? Um, that returns a const t. Um, wait, why does that not work? Dom element start from Dom node. Oh, oh right. Yes, uh, we want next element in pre-order. So, hmm. Wait, this is gonna get a bit annoying. Oh, we don't have such a thing. Um, next element. We have next element sibling on non-document type child node. I guess we could add something here like um, next element in pre-order. Uh, and then next node. Or for auto uh, node is um, next element. No, no, no. Uh, we have to cast ourselves to the node type because this is a CRTP template. Um, so next in pre order. And node is node next in pre order. If node is, or no, hold on. If is node, no, is element, return downcast element node. Okay, so this is just to traverse the tree in an order here. And that's not how you write a for loop. So there we go. Maybe we should have a const variant of that. Okay. Yeah, so that's a start, and then... Um, if we find something... Or actually, I guess we should just do this like this, set focused element, element, whether we find one or not, and then return element. Yeah, so if we find an element, then we return true, otherwise we return false. And I didn't downcast correctly where. Dom element, um, non-doc. Uh, oh, right, this is not. This is supposed to return a pointer, not a reference. Okay, so nothing is happening when I press tab. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. Um, but let's see, focus next element. Let's see that we're actually doing this. And I guess when we set the focus element, we want to do a repaint. So that's something that we can definitely do differently here. So um, if we have a layout root, then we can say m layout root um, set needs display. Yeah, just cause a paint. And then I guess we could also do something here, like 
set focused element element. Just print something, you know. Okay, so it's setting uh, some element. It's the same one every time, so I guess we're not really um, switching them up correctly. Uh, focus element is that. Sure. And when we tab, why does that fail? Oh right, because we have to we have to skip to the next one here. We have to start by skipping to the next one. Otherwise we just find ourselves again. So that's a bit silly. Okay, so now we are cycling through elements, but they're not rendering any differently. And I think that's because our um, the way that we, we paint these anchor elements is that uh, we only paint the text inside them. We don't actually paint the anchor itself somehow because the anchor is just uh, an inline box, basically, but it has text inside of it. So we do paint the text. So actually, we should probably... Um, probably we should paint the text here with the border. So let's see, how would we do that? Um, layout box. Ah, da, 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 da. So this stuff right here. Um, layout text. Where do we paint the fragment? Okay, so this goes maybe before the text cursor. So if context, wait, do we know our paint phase? Paint fragment. Hmm. Hmm. Who calls this paint fragment? Hmm. Lime box fragment calls it. And who calls that is the block. So when we paint the block, okay, yeah. So when we're painting a block, then we need to um, do something for the outline phase as well. So here, if it's the focus outline phase and children are in line, then, 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 then uh, I guess we need to check if the if if we are if we have the focus thing inside of us, um, but we can do this the cheesy way. Right now, we can just like iterate through all of our line boxes. It's not such a big deal. Right now, although it's something we could do better later. So let's see. Um, so if the fragment. Out node, um, parent. Let's see. So we need to look. We need to know if if the enclosing element um, has focus. So we need to find the first element ancestor of this node. So we'll go to the DOM. So here, auto uh, node is this, if node and node. Um, parent, well, let's see, if no node, continue. Um, parent is node, parent element, if no parent, continue. If parent is focused, then we'll draw an 
from the palette. Focus outline. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And look at that. We are tabbing through. That's pretty cool. Look at him go. And it gets to the end and then it cycles around. That's adorable. Um, so, what happens though? Like, why do we cycle around? I guess we could see that here. It's set focus elements. So we set it to null. And at that point, we should kind of give up the focus to other GUI widgets. So how the heck do we do that? Um, I, um, let's look in the event handler. So uh, fix me, implement, shift, tab, backwards. Um, cycling backwards through focusable elements. Yeah, I'll just leave that as a fix me for now, I think. Um, it won't be terribly difficult to implement, but I just want to focus on building out the feature here. So let's see. So we did set the focused element to null, and presumably that would return false. So handle key down will return false, which means that our handle key down here in page returns false, and then in page view, handle key down. Oh, we are ignoring that. Okay, so what if we don't ignore that? What if we say, if that is ignored, um, let's see, bool um, page ignored key, page ignored event. Ignore event is true. Okay. Or, you know what? Let's page accepted event. And then we can write it this way instead. And then here, event accept if page accepted event. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so these are the scroll related things. I guess we still want to handle those. So in the default case here, if page accepted event, if it didn't, then we will ignore this event, which will give other GUI widgets a chance to look at it. Do that. Okay. Now oh, there's so many to cycle through here. Uh, should make a test page with not as many, not as many links. So here, and the next one will be null. Boom. But focus did not switch out of the widget. And on next tab, we end up here again. Okay. So that's now we're starting to talk about like a libgui issue here. Um, because if we press tab and it's ignored, I feel like that's supposed to cycle focus to the next thing. Um, let's see where this is implemented. I don't quite remember how I did this. Um, GUI widget, key down. Um, okay, so. widget key down event. Oh, 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 this is some widget key down. So we need to call the base class. That's what we got to do. It's not enough to ignore because this is happening in the um, base class of the page view. So page view here, we can't just ignore it because ignore means that it will bubble up to our parents in the widget hierarchy. Uh, but it does not, it does not mean that it will automatically let our base class deal with it. So we need to do that. So our base class is scrollable widget, whose base class is frame, whose base class is widget. So we'll call scrollable widget here. Um, scrollable widget 
key down event event. And we can actually skip the ignore part. Uh, I wish I would have made a smaller test. Okay, here we go. Oof. And we focus null. And oh, look, we're up here. Oh, dude, it works. Very nice. I almost feel like when you tab focus to the to this widget here, then it should um, select all. Is that how it works here? Yeah, it does. Right? Because um, let's see, I tref foo. Um, I don't know. Let's make a dumb test. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, here it doesn't actually go make these. Wait, why don't these become tabable? Oh, that's so weird. Well, I thought... What's up, Firefox? I thought you'd let me do that. Um, but select all when you tabbed into a text box. That seems like a really good behavior. So text editor focus in event. Um, hmm. So I would want this when it's a keyboard focus in, but not when it's a mouse focus in. Because if I click on a text box, I don't want it to select all, do I? Or does that normally happen? Wait, is that normal? That feels so weird. Um, maybe that is normal? I don't know what to test with. Um, just something here. Can I get a text box anywhere, please? Where are the text boxes in this application? Okay, why is this suddenly so difficult? Okay, here. Okay, I clicked that and it didn't focus everything, right? Because that would be weird. What if I click here? Yeah, that wouldn't do that. Um, but if I tab, then it selects all. That's interesting. Hmm. So I'm thinking the focus in event currently does not distinguish between mouse and keyboard focus. So we would probably need to do that in order to uh, make this possible. So how do we make a focus event? Uh, focus in. Here. So this is just when we set focused widget. Um, but then we don't know if this is um, keyboard focus, mouse focus, or programmatic focus. Okay, so we got we got some stuff to improve here, but um, let's just do one thing at a time. So let's commit the libweb changes first of all. Um, so get rid of this thing. And let's see. Do we have yeah, like we have some changes that we can do um, atomically. So let's do that. Git. Uh, add p, this guy right here. Yes. The web. And non document type child node next element in pre order. This is handy for traversing only the elements in a document. And then um, blah 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 blah. I guess we can add this thing here so, uh, atomically. So blah, blah. Um, path 
jobs unaccepted or uninteresting or mm, non accepted key down events to uh, page view. There's a base class. Uh, this will allow the GUIs, uh, normal mechanisms to take over if page view, if the web if the web engine is not interested in the event right now. It's a nice little setup commit. Here we have a uh, something to get rid of, so we'll make it check out that one. What else are we working with? Okay, I guess these are our commits. Oh, these are our changes for this commit, so live web. Um, add allow uh, focusing individual elements focusable with tab key. Now cycle through uh, focusable elements. Currently, only um, anchor or hyperlinks. Um, are focusable uh, with the tab key. Um, this patch. Uh, or uh, the focus outline is uh, rendered in a new um, focus outline paint phase. Okay, so then, 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 then let's do that thing where you tab to a text box and it becomes select all. The so let's see. Let's just let's just fix up this little test case so that we can um, have fewer links to cycle through. So I'll just nuke um, most of these. Let's see. Yeah. Just for now, you know, we're not gonna commit that obviously, but it'll be easier to test if we don't have to press a fajillion times. Okay, that is really cool. Okay, so let's make that thing happen. And I guess the first thing we gotta do is we gotta invent some kind of focus event object that we can pass around. So let's just add a new event type. Focus event. This is in libgui now. And I think we'll have um, type or focus source maybe. Um, and this will be like programmatic um, keyboard or mouse, right? And maybe in the future we'll add other types, but let's start with those. So uh, focus source. we have to pass um, our type along to the event base constructor. Forgot about that. Because it's going to be focus in or focus out. Okay, so <clears throat> here, this window set focus widget API. It needs to be extended a little bit. So we should probably actually move out the focus source from here. Um, and we'll put that in its own header, I think. So, libraries, 
the GUI focus source. Okay. Name is passe, GUI. All right, so we have our three focus sources. You can include them all you like. And um, we will grab them in GUI window as well. Okay, and set focus widget should now also have a focus source that you have to pass in so that we know what to do with that. And then here, let's see. So let's just include that here. So focus event with source. And that's good. Um, and then who calls this API? Set focused widget. I guess actually we can have this default to um, programmatic, because then if you're calling set focus widget programmatically, like we're doing here in the help application, then it defaults to programmatic. And then the other two are only used internally really by LibGUI to implement the other ways of switching focus. So let's see, did add widget. Um, this is the implied focus, uh, implicit focus that happens when something has no child widgets, um, but like a window has no child widgets and then it gets his first widget, so then we focus that widget. So that's kind of like, we don't care about that so much. Widget set focus. Okay, so this guy, ugh, all of this is written without um, the source of the focus in mind. So we'll do that here. So source mm, source. Okay. And same story here. Focus source. Programmatic. All right. And then who calls set focus? Many people. Mm. But mouse down is definitely a mouse kind of focus source. And focus previous widget, focus next widget, these are definitely, I guess it depends on who invokes them actually. <laughs> Uh, these are, I think these are only used for key down event. Yeah, 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 right. So, and these are not public APIs, are they? No, but we could still, we could still say focus source like this. Because why not? And then we will pass it along. We don't shoot ourselves in the foot in the future, calling these APIs, thinking that they work one way. Oh man, it is warm today. Um, like very, very warm. Okay, so, right, I, wait, how did I mess that up? Oh, I forgot to change the call sites. Uh, focus source keyboard. There we go. Okay, so now um, we still have to change all of those focus in events. So do we have a lot of those focus in? No, not so many. Okay. Do we have many focus outs? Nope. Okay. Good. So let's go and update the um, prototype of the focus event help um, handlers because now we're gonna receive a focus event here rather than just a simple core event. And... Doo -doo -doo. GUI 
refocus event. GUI focus event. something wrong here it hides an overloaded virtual function oh in text editor right okay so we're almost there So here is, of course, where we're actually going to do the thing. So I guess I can say um, if event source is focus source keyboard, then select all. But I think we'll do that in a separate commit eventually. But I'm just going to put that in there now so we can test it out right away. GUI, of course. Bzzz. Okay. Mm. We got something here. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. We have to cast these now. Focus event. This is nice. Richer focus events that know why they're happening. Okay, we forgot about something here. GUI focus. has focus when we start up. That's a bit weird. So if I click there, nothing happens. So I'm tabbing. Let's go back to them. Okay, so that works super nicely. Now when I go into it, uh, it selects all. If I click on it, it does not select all. Okay, wait, so how does this work now? Oh, wait, there's some way to show the focus wrecked. Um, GUI focus debug, right. No? Oh, wait, did I mess that up somehow? Oh, I guess, oh, the args parser swallows it. Oh. Um, dang it. Okay, let's see. Um, let's put that somewhere else then. If get env, go you focus debug. Ha. So now we get a cyan rectangle around whatever has focus. So if I click here, you see that this thing has focus. If I tab around, then you can see that um, the blue travels. And actually, when I tab from here, the web view gets focused. But then shift, um, shift tab doesn't work in the web view. That's why things get confusing. OK, so. So there will be there will be a little bit of stuff to to do there as well actually. So like when you shift tab into the um, 
web view, then I guess mm, I guess then we should should be focused like the last very last thing in the page view, the last thing in the DOM. I'm not sure exactly, but like all of those things will become obvious as we mess around more with it, I guess. But I really like this effect. We select all we move there. So click click click. Beautiful. And we can see the focus traveling around. Very good. Okay, so let's do that little application change here. Flip GUI. Um, use export GUI focus debug. Want to see focus um, visualize focus vision. To visualize the focus widget. Um, using a command line argument for this clashed with our parser. So let's use an environment variable instead. I feel like Sergey told me to do this at some point. Anyway. Oops. Here we go. Um Okay, and then let's get rid of that welcome change, or let's at least not commit that. Um, and dev tools and applications, but let's not do the text editor change. Um, let's see, let's just do that. So lib GUI. Um, make focus add focus or um, make focus events um, aware why focus is changing. More aware. Um, this patch adds GUI focus event, which has a GUI focus source. Um, the focus source is one of three things. Programmatic, mouse, or keyboard. Um, this will allow us to... This, this allows... Um, receivers of focus events to uh, implement uh, different behaviors depending on how they receive slash lose focus. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. And then we have that little change there in text editor, so let's commit that. Oh, wait, that, yeah, that previous patch was not going to compile, I just realized, because I did this, which made this an unused um, parameter, so let me be a good boy and make sure that that previous thing actually compiles. So we'll just amend that, okay, and then we can put that back. Okay, so when focusing a text editor via keyboard, select all contents. This feels very natural and allows you to start typing immediately, knowing uh, it will replace the previous place whatever was in the text box before. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay, so I think I think this will be it for today's video. Some nice progress here. Um, starting to focus things in the um, 
Okay, wait, why can't I tab anywhere <laughs> on when we start up? I, that's a separate issue, I guess, I need to look into, but um, once we put focus somewhere, it works. Maybe, mm, I guess, like, if we're here, then this thing shouldn't appear to have focus, so maybe we should fix this first. Like, if I'm focusing this guy, this thing here should not uh, appear to have focus. So I think we need our um, painting context to be focus aware. Paint context is, or let's say has focus. Create one of these paint context in page view. So we'll say context set has focus um, is focused because is focused um, makes sure that the window is um, active currently. So if you're in an inactive window, like you're not the foreground window. Um, in the global window stack, then we're not going to say that, that we're focused. So I think, I think that's good. And, oh, well, I forgot to actually do anything with that. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will just not uh, do the focus outline face at all if, if our context does not have focus. So if context has focus, we'll do the focus outline face. Um, if not, then we won't do it. But I think that's good. Um, so here, but then we click here. So we don't have focus anymore. So we have to actually um, redraw without that thing. Although now when we entered Oh, and we're starting here. Mm. Maybe when we focus in, we should start from the top of the document. Okay, well, there are a couple of things here to fix. I guess there are many things to fix, but we'll, we'll just commit these. Mm. Only paint. Focus outline when um, paint context when um, when browser window has focus. This is communicated through the paint context has focus flag. Uh, yeah, so there are many things here that need to be improved, but I think this is a good start. So this will be the end of the video. Uh, if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and for hanging out. I hope that you saw something interesting here. I think this is pretty interesting stuff. Um, and I guess I hope to see you next time. Bye.